Okay, I I have made some uh, some uh, kind of uh, notes about the uh, about the day and and first thing I'd like to uh, like to say that it has been really a fertile and and really a, a, a day for many aspects. We were starting about I I miss my uh, my own presentation because it was a uh, just about the project which you can I mean if you want uh, to look at the web page you can you can. Uh, uh, find the details there, but we were. I sp uh, start from Thomas Thomas Matila's uh, presentation, and and here the issue was or the keyword was land use, land use and biodiversity. So we passed by from from climate change, which he he just uh, which has been a, a big issue up to now, or 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 is a big issue, but still, according to the planetary planetary boundaries, he, he was he was uh, showing us. It is its land use and it is its biodiversity, which is really globally important. And the fact that uh, up to up to uh, 2025, 50% of the of the land area would be used uh, or changed to the to the cultivation, which is really a big big change. Uh, then we were going to the Virpi Warnes presentation of uh, first. Uh, he, he, she was the first to 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 raise the question of of. Uh, 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 of uh, life cycle assessment and how to use life, life, life cycle assessment in in assessing the environmental impact and she was very much focusing on on uh, on the fact look at your own lunch plate and uh, giving a demonstration of her own lunch plate what kind of what kind of impacts does does it have and what kind of changes one one can uh, add there there is in the bottom of the page you can see some of the issues Issues which were raised in the in the discussion out of the presentation, I I do not uh, repeat those, so you can you can see them there, just to save save the time. Uh, then we were going to the to the uh, nutritional aspects, and and there were Anne and uh, Tackley who were who were uh, presenting the databases and dietary analysis, and and raising uh, the question of. Of nutrition and and how to how to assess your own own food plant in terms of on, on nutritional values. Uh, actually, uh, from there we we uh, uh, continued to the to the uh, discussion of two guys, Thomas and Relia, who were uh, trying to figure out what kind of lunch they should should have today and they ended up uh, up having quite dif big difficulties in in meeting the requirements on the other hand for their nutrition and on the other hand avoiding the risks you might get in terms of heavy metals or dioxins in your food and or or uh, or uh, have you, uh, i mean minimizing the impacts of food production to the environment and as a conclusion it seems that it is very difficult to follow the, follow this framework or all these requirements in daily basis. But if you start to assess your, your perhaps your weekly or or two week uh, diet, you might might uh, be much more progressive and it might become more easy. But we need uh, better tools to do that. Then we went to the went further to to Siret, Siret's presentation more deeply in 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 a life cycle assessment and life cycle thinking actually, and and he she had got some some uh, help from Juha Grönros on on that uh, on that presentation, and uh, it seems that on the other hand when we think about production, so so the life cycle assessment is good help for direct directing improvements in production and on the other hand in terms of consumers it is it's a good help for direct your behavior change uh, in terms of food food choice um, then we had uh, we we turned to the to the next session where where we have we were looking uh, more deeply to the environment uh, to the uh, awareness which i raised in in my my first presentation and and Trin Esco was uh, 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 explaining us over the survey which had been done all through the free countries and and giving the results of that we saw, we saw some differences of of uh, of, of, uh, of young people and adult people 
uh, youngsters were more raising the issue of ethical values and animal behavior, and uh, adult pe people were more kind of rational for for uh, bringing your own own food and national production, local production, and. Uh, Anyhow, it seems that awareness is important, and uh, we need further further follow up of this this uh, kind of approach in uh, in more deeper analysis of the actual behavior uh, awareness and behavior of of people at different different consumer groups. Uh, then we we had this uh, presentation from uh, from Raisio Group uh, from Aki Aki Finner and. Uh, being from Finland, it was the first time when I when I saw his presentation about this HEM uh, uh, kind of mission, uh, healthy, ecological, and mobile food, which is kind of uh, qu quite a nice uh, or interesting attitude, at least an in interesting vision of 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 uh, Rysia company. And uh, another thing which was uh, quite uh, remarkable in that uh, that uh, presentation was the very, very strong partnership between a company and the contract farmers. It seems to be that that they have been able to uh, collect quite a, quite a business information from the farmers also. Uh, there seems to be a really strong uh, partnership between them, which I also a little um, quite quite I mean it seems quite interesting and 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 I'm a little bit surprised that it seems to to work so well, but uh, that's that they they have made a good progress in that not in a short time they have done it quite a lot quite quite a long time already. Then we had a, a very very interesting presentation from the Estonian Food Bank, and, and there was there were big numbers of food waste. Even though at the at the end we we ended up having discussion what is actually what is actually counted in the food food waste waste and 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 also there was in discussion there was a question what is the definition of food and what is the definition of throw away. But anyhow, there were big numbers, and and it was nice to raise this this issue. So how we actually handle the food, the material, which is anyhow, anyhow, I mean, uh, aimed for for food food consumption. Uh, but uh, one thing which we at present also discuss in Finland is how to certify food safety when avoiding food waste. So when we are using the material which which uh, is has passed the, the best before, uh, um, I mean date, how we uh, set the limits, how far this uh, type of material can be used safely to human consumption. Uh, then we were going to the uh, to the how how to present environmental impacts of food interactively, and and we got uh, Helen Hagas presentation. And and uh, from from her uh, issue, uh, from her key issue, I would uh, tell, or I had no, uh, made a notice, uh, help them to see what kind of information is out there. Hel help people to to see what kind of information is out there. Uh, but then we got we ended up uh, into a discussion. Not everybody relies on the fridge and ketchup example, which uh, we which raised quite quite a discussion. And then we uh, got this uh, this presentation with with a huge amount of information of of collaboration of the uh, uh, I mean uh, communication model uh, complementary elements of which were information education participation and behavior and uh, it seems that self uh, self experience communication is is important but anyhow the presenter. Uh, I mean, raised uh, he, he raised the key issue, which is collaboration. That's the key word when we think about the communication in 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 practice. So it's very interactive and very kind kind of you should have the participatory approach in that, and also trying to find mutual and mutual objectives. Uh, 
then we ended up with this discussion what what we uh, which we just had i i have made quite a number of of uh, uh notes from here i won't repeat that because you, it certainly is in the in your mind now it's so recent but uh, it was very interesting i uh, thank you so much for for the for uh, samsa and and alex for for a discussion and and also also uh, for for uh, i mean motivating and moderating the discussion so thank you so much there was a lot of a lot of information and and quite i mean um, quite uh, i mean uh, uh, Quite a number of key issues which were raised, also concerning the cap and common agricultural policy, and what kind, of, what, what is kind of tricky in that, and and uh, does it help or does it uh, does it not help the the environmental or sustainability actually? And there was a there was a, a opinion that it actually actually undermines a lot, a lot of the uh, EU policies undermines the sustainability of food production. Which is which is quite tricky. Actually, in Finland, I'm leading another project where we we should uh, look look the interaction of policies, and and we we have seen there also that how some of the policies undermine the the aims of the of the other policies. So, from my side, thank you so much, and and uh, it was really for me at least, and certainly for all the all the project people, it was it was a really very very good day and and a lot of information okay i, I give the word to you